2010 dawned to a new economy. Almost overnight, employees could earn and grow without ever setting foot in an office. In the next few years, location-independent businesses are going to account for 40% of the working world. And this is going to drive interconnected markets to shift and morph according to the whims of buyers' ethics and values. Location-independent businesses are becoming more diversified with each passing day and covering everything from remote service offerings and advertising to media and translation services. But one business model continues to fly the location independence flag the highest, and that's e-commerce. And we'll discuss why it could be the perfect opportunity for you to profit and find more freedom over the next decade, today on Renegade News. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, you'll find new information, strategy, and news about how to break free from the system, pay less tax, and live anywhere in the world that you want. So go ahead and smash the subscribe and the notification buttons, and let's get right into it. The e-commerce industry will pass the $4 trillion mark by 2021 this year. So it's not a coincidence that Jeff Bezos is the richest person in the world. Amazon changed the business world so much that it's hard to remember back when he was this fledgling bookseller that they started as. It's expanded into aviation robotics, smart homes, and even brick and mortar retail, proving that e-commerce can go past any limitations that it wants to, even e-commerce itself. But is it the perfect location independent business? Well, unfortunately, that question doesn't come with a cut and dry yes or no answer. The ideal location independent business is one that makes the remote employment dream come true. The ability to sleep where you like, fly where you choose, and to sustain your business from any beach, mountain, or coffee shop in the world that you want to. If contract work was able to achieve all of that on its own, then the Amazons and the Ebays of the world probably wouldn't exist. I mean, why adopt the complexity of an e-commerce platform if simple contract work can cover your jet-setting lifestyle? Location independent businesses have gained a following because they achieve what remote work cannot. And that's the profits to turn you into the world's wealthiest person and the flexibility to let you diversify your business model. Perfection doesn't always come in a grand package though. It must also be scalable. Because even Jeff Bezos was once just a scruffy student who started from scratch. And when it comes to scalability, e-commerce wins again although it's not even perfect there. So for example, like bounce rates, they start to rise for every second your page fails to load. So you need a scalable platform that isn't riddled with glitches. And a scalable platform might sound easier to achieve than it is, but there's a reason that eBay, Amazon, and Shopify were all founded by really gifted IT workers. It's very difficult to choose the right code if you don't even know what code looks like. It's difficult, but though it's really not impossible. I mean, China's largest e-commerce platform was founded by a computer teacher and a translation agency entrepreneur. If you have the skills you need to satisfy your customers and you can market a digital business and build a merchandise niche, you might be able to outsource the way that Alibaba did to find those other things. In 2014, there were already about 20 million online stores worldwide. And that number has expanded to this saturation point Yet the demand and the number of people entering the industry is increasing. And that's probably the biggest challenge that's facing e-commerce hopefuls. But it doesn't necessarily have to be tackled through a unique concept. By building on current trends, you can get an entry point into emerging markets, for example, that are growing. Countries like India, Latin America, and Southeast Asia are all opening up to e-commerce now. So they represent this important penetration point for some companies. The market is also ripe for mobile first stores, chat box AI programs, and multi-channel intermediaries. If you can catch the scent of your customers' pain points, then you've won half of that battle. The saturation of the e-commerce industry, though, means that location-independent entrepreneurs can no longer benefit from the stability of a tried-and-true industry. They have to create new pathways into the future and rely on new technologies and untried business models. Now, for some, that's going to mean fear and failure, but for others, it's going to spell opportunity. Sure, those that lead the fray might risk stepping on landmines, but if they make it to the finish line, they will also be the ones who are remembered. 
e-commerce profit potential is significant. So stepping into that race is worthwhile. Now, sure, they say on average, a new online store brings in $39,000 of revenue in its first month. But you know yourself that that's a load of crap and it's obviously skewed by the massive spikes of these behemoth companies like Shopify. The real truth is that you're only gonna convert about 2% of your site visitors at an average value of about 45 bucks and 95% of business owners aren't going to make a dime. So it requires some serious marketing smarts to turn those numbers into a real income and that's why most people fail. But if you have the skills, the challenge is going to be significantly easier. Not every location independent business offers the location independent lifestyle, the lib lifestyle. Your online store is going to need a powerful logistics strategy. It's going to need a functional warehouse. And it's going to have to have ongoing relationships with wholesalers. I mean, you might get lucky to spend a winter in Barcelona, but then you might not get lucky enough to spend all year living it up like a digital nomad would. You're going to need to nurse your business to maturity. One connection, one tactic, one onboarded employee at a time. The startup life isn't easy. It's not easy on anyone. But when you finally hit it and you reach that profit potential, all that hard work is going to make you feel like flying. And yes, that is we what real freedom feels like. But the economic and social fallout of this current pandemic and the socialist leanings of more and more government have taught us that freedom isn't a given anymore. And we have to take responsibility for ourselves. And we have to fight back harder than ever. So subscribe right now to Renegade News for the latest information on infringements and wins in your fight for more freedom and liberty in this unfree world. And for more information on running an international business and on living this location independent lifestyle, check out the video you see on your screen right now. I'm Glenn Kowalski from Renegade News, and I'll see you over there.